Hey guys, how's it going today? So, I feel better than I did yesterday, so that's good. Except for earlier, I tried to live stream and it took a big old shit because um, the internet's been acting up weird. So, I was only able to do it for a certain period of time, which kind of sucked, but... Um, so, that's good, right? Anyway, I um, want to talk about something interesting, uh, in my opinion. Um, and it's funny, I think it's funny. Uh, which is uh, schizoid awareness. <laughs> I, I'm unsure as to why it makes me laugh every time I say it, but when I say the words schizoid awareness, <laughs> gets to me, tickles something of a funny bone, I guess. Um, and I just find it funny because uh, it just seems ridiculous, right? I mean, in my head at least, but it's important. And I've been thinking about it. I'm like, okay, so what do we have to do to make the world a little bit better for ourselves, right? More easy to interact with and less fucking frustrating and um, empty. And and I'm thinking, oh, what are, what are the other what are the other personality disorders? people do you know what do they do what kind of uh, activities do they take place and that seem to help them in some respect or another um and i guess it's that whole awareness thing right the whole like hey if you make um your problem recognizable to the common parlance then people will be like when they hear schizoid they won't ask you Oh, so you hear voices? And that'll just make you want to retreat more into your hole when you hear that one. Because it's like, oh, okay, I don't want to have to explain this to you. It's part of the whole thing is I don't want to talk to you. And by me having to explain this to you is having to interact with you socially, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of it, right? So the, act, the very act of <laughs> spreading awareness... <laughs> um is draining and difficult all right so i'm thinking okay so how can we do this without having to socialize right okay so i wanted some <laughs> i wanted some tips or i wanted to see what other big websites said about us uh and awareness and the more i uh the more i searched the funnier it got for me because um, I was like, okay. So the first thing I typed was mental health stigma, right? Like stigma, stigmatization. There's a lot of stigma around mental health as a whole, right? So, um, and I was just curious. I'm like, oh, okay. So what do, what do these big national groups, like nonprofit profits say about stigma regarding uh, certain conditions and it's just funny as shit to me, because like I, like I went here, and I'm like, okay, mental health conditions. Okay. And then, uh, or here they clarify, they consider mental health conditions as opposed to mental illnesses, so. I don't know if maybe ours falls into, in, under, under illness instead of condition, I, I don't know. But in any case, you see here, Hell, they even got seasonals. Postpartums. Schizoaffective. Which is cool. But. Nah. And schizophrenic. Schizophrenic. No schizoid. Or avoidant. For that matter. And I just thought that was kind of funny. And I thought, oh, okay, well, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's because, like, I don't know, some other reasons. But, but also notice that there's no narcissists, antisocials, um, I, I don't even know if paranoids are in here. But in any case, so you move on to this other website, the American Psychiatric Association. Everyone knows that, right? So, like, okay, patients and family, mental health topics. Like, all right, let me, let me look down this. Okay. 
and I tried dissociative and I'm like, oh, we weren't there. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. We're not here either. Okay. And that's when I was searching mental health stigma. I'm like, all right. Maybe it's just because we're not as popular or something. So this this part made me laugh. Um, so I, was, I started typing stuff in like borderline stigma. I'm like, I'm brief, the stigma, borderline personality, Harvard Health, understanding stigma when you have BPD. All right, cool. All right. It's schizophrenia. Stigma. Oh, look at that. Schizophrenia, shattering the stigma, stigmatization, and so on. Okay. Avoidant stigma. Disease avoidance is functional basis. Stigma related stress. Five myths about avoidant. Back of stigma and concealment on avoidant oriented stigma avoidant orientation and self-declosure and friendship okay so okay all right all right let's keep going paranoid personality disorder stigma okay the stigma okay that's overalls borderline so there's just certain disorders that are like kind of just get lost in the woodwork right <laughs> this is funny he's like stigma what's missing from anti-stigma campaigns <laughs> and um i just find it funny i find it funny that uh excuse me personality disorder dangerous um does the modern world promote schizoid personality disorder i find it funny that like our disorder this whole schizoid thing is like it's, it's the most fucking it's it's so fucked because it's like the most boring fucking disorder possible like for people i guess like for neurotypicals like when they're talking about disorders like schizoid is just so fucking hella boring but I was just, oh, I'll just let them be alone. <laughs> just forget about those fucking incels and weirdos and whatever. So, whatever you want to call us, uh, whatever people like to refer to us as, shut ins, <laughs> hermits, you know. Forget about them. We, they, they chose that life. I don't know, man. God, I've heard that stuff on the internet. But, um... Man, it's just frustrating, because... I mean, the only way we're gonna be able to interact with uh, the external world in a efficient and less intrusive way is if people know what the fuck we are. And what the fuck we're about, right? and um as much you know obviously that's why i have the discord set up so that we can all talk together in our own kind of schizoidy way um but i started thinking i'm like hmm well when you log off still gotta deal with the same bullshit right all the time so what could we do that doesn't require too much energy that doesn't require too much socialization that can maybe spread awareness of our issues or condition or whatever right so so that way at least on the internet which is generally where we reside we don't have to explain to people these things or we don't have to mask on the internet that's so I, oh man i hate that even on the internet we have to fucking mask just to function especially if say you have a job that's online you still have to mask in your emails and mask for this mask for that so wouldn't it be great to live in a world where people knew what schizoid fucking was and when you told them they would be like oh so you're just gonna have a flat affect most of the time and get straight to the point and not want to chit chat 
or have conversations or hang out or do any of those things. You're just fine um, having topical conversations about whatever matters are at hand and rather not do anything else if it isn't necessary because everything feels gray and dead most of the time for you. Wouldn't that be cool, guys? Wouldn't that be great if people knew that? Like, okay. I mean, I can imagine if you work at a job, right? And you do good at your job. And say even if it's customer service related, right? If your boss sees that, oh, when they're talking to customers, they're masking up and, you know, that's their job. But if you made your boss aware that, oh, yeah, I'm schizoid. So I'm not really here to make friends. I'm just here to work because I need to survive. And it wouldn't be taken personally because they would just go, oh, I've heard of that problem. But he does good work or she does good work. So who cares? I'm just your boss. Just do your job. Wouldn't that be awesome? And then when your coworkers are like trying to be your friends or stuff, and you tell them, oh, well, I don't really look to make friends. And, um, rather, uh, I'd rather just do my job and just not talk about your life and stuff because I don't care about it too much. Like, wouldn't that be cool if you could say that? Instead of having to say all that, I mean, or being a dick, you could just say, oh, I'm schizoid. And then they just assume all those things. They just go, oh, okay, leave him alone. Let him be. Don't have conversations with them if they aren't necessary or if they don't bring them up. And if they bring up something I'm not interested in, um, then they won't take it to heart if I tell them, oh, I'd rather not talk about that. Because they won't care because they're schizoid. And that's fine. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be great, guys? Uh, if that's how it functioned. So, the only way is to do enough stuff to get ourselves on some of these websites, right? Some of those booklets and pamphlets. But, I mean, that's kind of hard considering that not even the internet acknowledges us very much. Um, aside from, like, maybe a trivia question. So, um, maybe you have ideas for how we can kind of spread our meme schizoid awareness in some silly way even if it's funny like even if it's like using a little bit of irony and dark humor maybe uh maybe a way of memeing schizoid awareness into existence on the internet um that would have required too much energy right a lot of you guys like memes not funny matter your disorder memes are cool to most of us but I don't know something to think about right just to ponder on could we do something Can, or I mean I'm, I'm, a lot of you are funny even if you're not you don't care about being called funny or some of us became funny. Like, I can be kind of funny. But only because you kind of learn to be. It's, it gets you things you need. Um, gets you out of situations you don't want to be in. Um, you learn to adapt. It's just one of those adapting things. And sometimes you just like making jokes that you laugh to. Not necessarily because other people will. So you find yourself to be funny. Just... For yourself, I guess. In any case, um, what do you guys think? What can we do to spread schizoid awareness? Should we, like, ironically wear a ribbon? Or just, oh no, <gasps> hey guys, I got an idea. Tell me what you think. How about we wear a pin without a ribbon on it? Just like a paper clip or something. 
And then when people ask, what is that? You say, it's the schizoid ribbon. And when they say, there's nothing there, you go, exactly. <laughs> what about that? Let's just wear the pin without a ribbon. People will be wondering why. And then when they ask you, tell them, oh, it's schizoid awareness. It's a schizoid awareness ribbon. Just tell them that. And that'll make them laugh. And then they might ask you what it's about. And then maybe you can hand them like a pamphlet or something. So that you don't have to tell them. So you don't want to explain it. We can carry around like cards. Like, um, like Joaquin Phoenix Joker, just like a card that says, Oh, I am schizoid. That means I don't feel much of anything and prefer to be left alone. Thank you. Well, that'd be cool. We should carry those around. What do you think people would do? Do you think they get mad? Or do you think like if you gave it to a boss or something, like maybe a few weeks after you've already been working there, and you've been doing a good job and you give it to them but you keep doing your job right you keep doing it right you keep masking up for customers or whatever you're doing but you just shut down whenever you're not working or you're like on lunch or something and then when somebody tries to be friends with you or talk to you or have chit chat you just hand over the card and you don't say a word i mean you can't get fired for that right so why not why not just do that Like, it was just funny. Like, the other day I was at, um, I was at the doctor's and I was getting my physical. I hadn't got one in like two years. And the nurse was like, Oh, are you suffering from anxiety or depression or any other type of mental problems? And I said, Well, I guess if anhedonia is a mental problem. And she was like, What's that? And I'm like, Oh, I'm schizoid. And then she's like, okay. And she turned around and walked away. <laughs> and then the doctor came in and asked me to clarify. And I was like, God damn it. See, if I had a card right then and there, you know, maybe with the hyperlink on it, they can look to, to the Wikipedia or something. Maybe, uh, they could just read that or look at that and stop stop asking me to explain it. Hmm. What do you guys think of that? Let's do Arthur Fleck style. Just carry a card with you that says schizoid. It can't be illegal. Can't fire you for it. Just get diagnosed and carry a card around. Maybe you could have multiple cards for different situations. Keep them in your wallet. Maybe like... I should start selling like... Maybe it's schizoid angst merchandise. I'll start selling like cards. Like um... Like different uh, designs. Schizoid cards. <laughs> it's like shiny glitter and shit on them. I think that'd be even funnier if you make them really pretty, like very, very uh, like um, flamboyant cards that just explain that you generally don't feel too much and you generally can't express anything you do feel. That'd be sick. Pretty fucking cool, right? I think so, at least. So yeah. Schizoid awareness. All right, so let's add up what we've we've got so far. Memes, internet memes. Okay, guys, that's where we start. It's easy, right? Just meme ourselves into existence inside the common parlance of the internet via humor. Um, two. Uh, we create some kind of non-ribbed ribbon. That we can wear. Maybe like. Like I don't know. Just a pin I guess. But. It would have to be like a really obvious pin. 
and something where a ribbon could be, but isn't. And there you go. And then number three, cards explaining what schizoid is that we can hand about when people ask, why are you so quiet? Why are you not talking to anyone? Why aren't you dancing? Why are you not speaking up in class? Why? You get me. Why are you not laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> um, and that'll handle that. Right? If you guys have any other ideas for what we could do for Schizoid Awareness Month, I think it'd be funny too to make Schizoid Awareness Month, um, like not like just claim it's Schizoid Awareness Month at random times, but like there's no actual month for us. But anytime somebody asks. If it is, you say yes, regardless of what time of the day or day of the year or year of the decade or decade of the century it is. It's always Schizoid Awareness Month. I think that would be good. But we'll just shroud ourselves in enough irony to, um, to make ourselves both absurd but yet people aware of us that might work i don't know it's worth a shot though and i'll do my part by um talking about this stuff maybe uh posting my videos and things in various places um we can have conversations on the server about how to make it maybe go about some of this because i know a lot of us have different jobs different positions that vary so um if that's the case then I'm sure there's plenty some of us can actually gain to do or work toward in this department it's just um it's just a matter of wanting to even do it right it's hot it's, it's difficult but I think uh, if it ultimately leads to a better uh, result as far as an increase in um, people not bothering us or asking us questions about why we are how we are, because half the time the reason we're masking is because we don't want to deal with that. So if we don't have to deal with that, then we don't have to mask. And if we don't have to mask, we're not as drained and exhausted and depressed because at least we get to be our you know flat selves most of the time so at least around you know normies and shit and then when we want to let loose and do it around each other whatever that may be but yeah Oh, Whew, I'm starting to drift off here. You know how that is. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, ring the little bell, even though it's not real, just ring it anyway, and give me your fucking money on my Patreon. Because if you don't, I won't do anything about it, but I'll shake my fist at you. I'll shake my fist at you in your general direction and I'll shake it. I'll shake it vigorously at you for not donating to my Patreon because, um, I feel entitled, so entitled to your hard earned money. This loser feels super entitled to your three dollars a month because i am your schizoid king i don't know <laughs> it's stupid 
<laughs> uh, this is horrible. Okay, guys. That's enough of that.